Hey everybody, it's Chris, also known as the Quadratic Attenuator, and today there are some brand new stratagems in Helldivers. So I'd like to go ahead and take a look at them, kind of do a few missions and test them out and see how good they are compared to what we already have. This isn't quite going to be a guide as much as it is kind of an impressions or a reaction kind of video with the new weapons. Um, I am going to test them on as many different things as I possibly can, just to give you guys an idea. Let's go ahead and check out what we have here regular machine gun, stalwart, and heavy machine gun. So, the heavy machine gun's description is a very powerful but difficult to wield machine gun with intense recoil. Let's see, call in time 3 seconds, cooldown 480, compared to the regular machine gun, which is the same, and the stalwart as well. So, let's go ahead and get that. And then, aha, quasar cannon. Not gonna lie, that looks pretty cool. The description is, charges up to fire a powerful explosive energy burst, has a long cooldown period after firing. And it's again 3 seconds and 480. So let's go ahead and unlock the Quasar Cannon. Let's go ahead and try these out. It looks like we finally have Truce unlocked, so in that case, let's go ahead and go there, try out both these new weapons, and uh, see how they do. Alright. Quasar Cannon. You know, I'm gonna try that first, because this guy is just asking for me to shoot him in the face. Alright, first impression, let's try it out. Gotta hold it down. Very nice. I like that. So, unlike medium-sized enemies, it looks like it's a one-hit kill. Wonder how it does against buildings and whatnot. Here, let's try it on him. Oh, I missed. There's the cooldown time, by the way. So four seconds doesn't seem too terribly long for it to recharge. That is really cool. Um, just a little bit of a note, you only have to hold it down. You don't have to let it go at any point. You can just hold it down and it fires by itself. I'm just not remembering how much of a crutch I used the shield generator for on these missions. I probably should have chose that first, but it's all good. As far as taking out medium units, armored units, so far it seems to want to kill them, which is awesome. It even has that little lighting effect whenever you partially charge it, kind of lights on the ground. That's really cool actually, I like that detail. Oh no, didn't kill the guy behind him though, but that's okay. I really want to try to shoot the fabricator inside the little hole. I want to see if that destroys it, or if it bounces off. But uh, right now I'm not being left alone long enough to do that. I hope I don't accidentally destroy it with that. I don't think I will. Oh, this artillery, man. Let me just uh, test this out, please. Ooh, look at that. That is cool. I like that. I'm not sure all the ways previously that you could take those down, but uh, with just one shot with a support weapon, that's awesome. Oh, he ruined my shot, dude. Oh man, I'm getting murked. Okay, so I'm back with a shield generator this time because I am just not used to getting shot at so much. Did I get him? Thank god, okay. Alright, so now I can call the men in peace. I want to see what else this thing can do. I feel like it probably has a few more utilities that I, I'm i not really sure what it can do yet. Just being able to one-shot the fabricators when you shoot them in the hole is pretty big, especially because it has an infinite magazine. It just has to cool down. 
Um, that's awesome because normally I'm used to trying to impact grenade those things and as far as closing buckles or destroying fabricators it just isn't great. And having something like this that can deal with that while still being able to use the impact grenades on the lighter enemies, I think that's pretty big. I wonder what it can do to turrets. I'm assuming not a one shot, but maybe I can get behind it and shoot the weak spot a couple times and see how many that takes. Let's see. Okay, it's at least not a one shot, but it looks like it's probably a two shot since it's flaming. I wonder, can I shoot it from the front, maybe? I'm gonna try it. Oh, you can! You don't even need to hit the back of it, okay. I just want to use it on everything now because, oh, that effect is just so cool. Even, even what I miss, <laughs> it's still cool. And it recharges so fast. Oh, is that a tank? Hey, that'll be good. I want to test on that one, too. All right, tank. Let's see what you're made of. Can I get around it fast enough? Hit its back? Come on. Oh, no. Too slow. But it, I definitely feel like it does damage to the front as well, seeing as how it did that to the turret. I'm just going to go ahead and grab this. Thank you. I'm so glad that you're slow. Yeah, get off my weapon, please. No. It knows its weakness is that... Oh, shit. I'm stuck. Goddamn. Okay. I'm just gonna... Can I Can I have that, please? Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so... Oh, shit. Oh. Hey, thank you. I didn't realize it would friendly fire like that. That's cool. We love treason. He is already smoking though, I think he might have taken damage from the fabricator being destroyed, but anyways. I'm just gonna try to get around to his other side. Here we go. Awesome. So I don't know if that'll one hit them from the weak spot, but at the very least, it'll do a lot of damage even from the front. So far I'm really liking this. Ah, oh, they shoot off that flare so fast. Maybe it'll drop off some big dudes. Let's see. Uh, no. That's okay. Ooh, another big dude I can try it on. Put your shield up. Okay, so it doesn't go through the shield, which I don't know if I expected it to do that or not, but... Damn. Yeah, those support weapon cooldowns are always such a long time, but uh, I kind of get it for this one, seeing as how it has infinite ammo and can one-shot a lot of things. I already know it can take these guys down in one hit. Very nice. Oh, hey, another one of them. Let's try it on him again, just because I'm not sure if I hit him correctly last time. Where are you at? There he is. Um. Oh, so that blew his arm off. That is good. So it looks like it will uh, disarm them if you shoot their left side, which is good because they can spray you down pretty easily. Alright, can it do long range destruction on the fabricators? Let's find out. It's probably a bad shot, to be honest. Here we go. Let's try from here. Nice. Although I'm still going to fail the mission because I am bad at these. Where are you going? Ooh, can I get that from all the way over here? Let's see. I missed, god damn. You know, in first person, it is kind of hard to aim that because of the glare from the charge, but I mean, it's a very small downside considering that it can do so much damage to their buildings. But now I'm going to try the Quasar Cannon on the Terminids. Going back to good old Hellmire, my favorite place. 
All right, let's try it out. If I can get a chance to. Let's see, did that damage him? I can't really tell yet. I need to get a more clear view. All right, let's try it again. Oh no, Charger. I want to try it on you too. Give me a second and I will, I promise. Hunters, man. Gotta love them. Oh no, two Bile Titans now, come on. I only need one of you guys to test it on. Speaking of which, it does look like he's bleeding, which is awesome. If it can actually take them down, I would love that. There it is. Oh no, oh no. What are they doing over there? Are they fighting each other? I didn't know they did that. I still don't think they're going to let me get my gun though. Yo, they are throwing hands over there. What's going on? Oh shit. I just want to grab the weapon. Let's see. Can it destroy their little bile sack? Um, yeah. Fairly well. Oh no! That Shrieker just ate my grenade right in my face. <laughs> I still want to test it on the Charger. Ooh, yeah, and let's see. I'm assuming it will close a hole. I don't see why it wouldn't. Um, unless you don't have good aim. <laughs> then it might not. There's the Charger. Alright. Let's just get a headshot and see what happens. Oh! That's good. I like that. I'm actually a little shocked that it one hit killed him. It doesn't even look like a headshot because his head is still intact unless it went through his armor. They do not want me to close these holes now, do they? Damn. Oh no! I'm gonna go grab that again. Thank you, thank you. I can uh, try another charger. Why not? Oh, I didn't really hit him, I don't think. Oh, he's bleeding out. Damn. Yeah, this thing is, is really good right now. Even a whiffed shot can send him into the bleed out state and then blow his head off. Nice. I'm trying to wait for him to die so I can test it out on this. Alright, let's see what else we can look at. Ooh, bile spewers. Those guys are annoying. See if we can one shot them. Alright, come here. There we go. That definitely one shots him from the head. Very nice. I still haven't really tested on an actual hole yet, but I have a feeling like it can close a hole. I don't see why it can't if it can destroy a fabricator in one shot. Damn, they are not giving me any ground to get back up here. Alright, are we finally going to get a chance to test it on a terminate hole? Hopefully. There we go. Very nice. Having an unlimited ammo way to close holes to one hit kill the bigger units, that's all. Honestly, it was very much needed, but... I'm just afraid the knee-jerk reaction with the community and the developers might be that they should nerf it. And I'm not a fan of nerfs, just gonna be honest. I feel like nerfs are just always gonna be perceived negatively. If people are having fun with your game, uh, why take that fun away? I don't always understand nerfing things that are good just because they're good at doing something. So I'm bringing along both support weapons this time, and I want to test out the heavy machine gun because it does seem really cool. Alright, let's go ahead and get the heavy machine gun called in. Alright, so first off, it doesn't have a crosshair in third person, which is interesting. Um, has some heavy sway, but I'm assuming that's balanced out by how much damage it can do. We'll find out though. Let's go ahead and test it out. So, it still doesn't penetrate Charger's front armor, 
which is kind of expected a little bit. Oh, that is some heavy recoil indeed. And the clip is rather small, it looks like. Wonder how long it takes to reload. Alright, this reload is very long. Maybe that gave me enough distance to reload. Come on. Come on. Holy crap, that was long. Alright, first person view. I mean... It definitely mows them down. Alright, let's try to get a full reload, see how long that takes. Oh man. Just a year, that's all. Something else I want to test out is the different speeds. 1200 RPM sounds totally uncontrollable. Oh yeah, very uncontrollable. Especially without a crosshair in third person, that's uh, really unfortunate. Then you gotta reload. Yeah. Run into that. Perfect. Yeah, without that crosshair, it is really hard to hit the fast moving targets, that's for sure. Let's see if they're any better on the robots. I want to try out the 450 RPM, because I feel like that might be more manageable. These guys are always annoying, but they went down fairly fast. Still not sure about the no third person reticle. I mean, it's not too terribly hard to aim if you just tap fire it. Ouch. Alright, let's see. Not bad. Oh, damn. What was that? Did he just rock it in front of me and then blow up? God damn it. It takes them down pretty fast. Oh, but that sway killer. Oh, that recoil, man. It seems like the recoil is a lot more manageable in first person, which is unfortunate because third person is just totally almost unusable. I feel like hip firing is the only real way to control it in third person. And even then, it's still a little tricky. Ooh, a big boy. Let's see. Can I burn through that armor? Looks like he's still got to get some precision shots on the head at the very least. No! I'm dead. Oh, did that not kill him? Damn you, Hulk. I'm gonna hit him again if I can. Did that really take two? Holy shit. Those guys are tough. Oh, that was disrespectful. <laughs> oh, and there's a Strider. Hell yeah. Oh man. That just deletes him, but the clip is so small. Don't shoot me, please. Let me reload. Thank you. How kind. You're the best. Very nice. I'm gonna try using the rapid fire mode again. Damn, that just burns through the mag. I definitely think it should be fired uh, <laughs> on the lower mode. Unless you're really good at tap firing, I would just keep it on the slower RPM. What were you doing, bud? 
Also, it looks like the bullets go a little bit beneath where the reticle is in first person, which doesn't help exactly. I feel like tap firing this is the only way to use it without being totally wasteful. Ooh, can it blow this up? It cannot. That's weird. I really expected it to be able to do that. Thank y'all for waiting for my slow ass gun to turn. Appreciate it. We got some big boys coming up. Maybe I can spray on them. Oh, Jesus. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that is hard to control. Damn, that just destroyed him. Very effective on medium units. Alright guys, so I had two more days to mess around with the weapons while editing the video, and my conclusions are this. The Quasar Cannon, great for bots, many different utilities, not so great for Terminids, but it can apparently two-shot a Bile Titan from what I've heard. I wasn't able to get footage of that unfortunately, but it is something that's possible if you can aim really well. As far as the heavy machine gun goes, I really don't see a place for it in any mission unless it gets a buff. With the bots, apparently it can take down tanks and hulks from the back in the weak spot pretty easily, but to do that you would probably need to use a stun grenade or have some way to get behind them. I wasn't really able to do that because I'm playing solo, but if you're playing with other people and they're able to draw aggro and you can get some shots on their back, apparently it's pretty useful. But with its overall issues with aiming, stability, control, the clip, I just don't think it's a really good option compared to the other things that are out there. As far as the heavy machine gun versus bugs, I really don't see a point to it, especially whenever you can mow down hordes of them with the regular MG and even stalwart. Um, I think those are a lot better options if that's what you're going for. So if you guys enjoyed this type of video, more of an impromptu gameplay impressions as opposed to a more structured guide, feel free to let me know which you guys would prefer to see. Definitely feel free to leave me a comment if you guys have any impressions or if you learned anything that I haven't covered in this video. Uh, feel free to like and subscribe too, because I do want to make more of these kind of videos in the future. But thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed the video. See ya!